Do I or do I not look extra studious? Do I look like an A-plus student in these classes? Do I look smart? Because here's the gag, I'm not. I am actually about to go to a new coffee shop that I've never been to because I saw it on someone's Instagram and it looked dope. So I'm gonna go to it because I have an e-contest tomorrow, my first one. And first of all, I can't take, um, I can't take tests. I'm not good at taking tests. I freak out, I freeze, it's awful. I've never been good at taking tests. So I'm actually gonna go try and study one, I have to study because I have absolutely not a single clue what the hell's going on, and I need to go study, so I have to do that anyways. But I'm gonna study so that I, in hopes that I can, I'm gonna get such bad tests since I already tomorrow, it's gonna make me wanna fucking vomit. I'm gonna take you guys with me, because one, I wanna show you the coffee shop that I'm going to, because it looks really freaking cute. But two, I'm probably gonna have a few months of break Johns when I'm there, because it's just not gonna be making sense, so might as well take y'all with me, so that you can experience the trauma that college puts you through, and the stress, and the tears and everything else that it puts you through. It took me a sec to actually get over here because I had to go deal with something. But look, there's, look how cute it already is. Look at this little green pack. Guys, I literally don't know where I ended up, but this might be the cutest coffee shop I've ever been to. You're probably sitting here like, Justin, what are you sitting in? And um, I'm not sitting in, I'm not sitting in a table. I am in one of those like, this chair is hanging from the ceiling. Like this right here. Like hanging from the ceiling, like I can twirl and spin. <laughs> Let me just show y'all what the rest of this shop, this shop looks like. Also, I ordered something called Cinnabons, and I got it iced, but it's cinnamon and white chocolate spun breve. Um, I don't know, it sounds kind of fierce. So I had to try it. Literally, I'm like in a fairy wonderland right now. I'm in a fairy wonderland. They have pastries, so many different cookies and muffins and scones and things. Like, this place is key. I think this might be my new coffee shop. Okay, I know that's probably like the worst thing possible. But I don't care because I'm living it right now. Also, this is gonna be my first sip of this drink. Let's try it. Taste test. I really should have freaking bought my brought my tripod. It wasn't even thinking. Yeah. And that would have been very beneficial. Right here. This is my this is this is my little setup right here. A little setup in this little coffee shop. Yeah. People look at me when I'm doing this. And they look at me like I'm insane. What is all in their backpack? <laughs> Guys, today has just been a day, let me just tell you. It has been a day. I guess this is gonna be my coffee shop. Maybe I should start doing coffee shop reviews. Because I said in my last vlog that I wanted to be a coffee shop girl. Coffee shop gay, actually. I'm gonna start reviewing. Okay, we're gonna start off with the coffee. This, like I said before, is a cinnamon with cinnamon and white chocolate spoon breve, and I assume, I assume there's coffee in it. I don't know. I don't know what else goes into this. So, the flavor is spectacular. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Now, moving on to the seating. Obviously, we're I'm sitting in the dope chair that hangs from the ceiling. You see that? It hangs from right there. It hangs from the ceiling, twirls, twists like my feet. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. The other chairs that they have in here are like purple velvet chairs that aren't at tables. So like these are the surrounding chairs. Let me show you. Like those chairs right there, those are like purple velvet chairs. And those are kind of fierce, little tables. Just your basic normal coffee shop table. Uh, or over there. And then there's a bar area right here that you can sit at with pink and gold stools. Those are pretty fierce. So that's a pretty combination. I'm gonna have to go 
an 8 out of 10 on the seating. Um, okay, decor, let's talk decor. A beautiful chandelier, beautiful chandeliers, and flowers and vines just hanging everywhere. I'm gonna have to go a 10 out of 10 on that one, okay. And then there's like cute little um, um, canvases all around, and then the walls are painted, obviously. Like, this is like a little garden area. You got a little kitty cat. The walls are freaking painted so cute. And it goes all the way through. Okay, so for my final coffee sh review of this coffee shop, this is, I think it's called Paint Rock Coffee Shop. Right here in Lubbock, Texas. It's literally right next to campus. I'm gonna have to go with an overall 10 out of 10, okay? 10 out of 10 on everything. Everything. I just love it. I literally made this today. Morgan gave me this Louis Vuitton locket from one of her bags, okay? And I was like, I want to make that into a necklace, and I've had it for months. And I finally connected it to this chain and made a chain out of it. So, if you guys want me to make you jewelry, let me know, because I'm, I'm gonna start a business. Great, yeah, I have absolutely gotten nowhere. Um, I've made no progress, I've done nothing but make TikTok sitting here. But like, I'm also just romanticizing life right now because this coffee shop is just so freaking beautiful. And so fun. But like, throughout the day, I, I was doing stuff. I had started. So what I'm doing right now is we have the review, but the review has all the answers on it. So I'm rewriting the review on to my iPad. And then I only have like the, the question and then the answer choices. And I'm gonna try to take it without the review and pick the answers. And then I'm gonna go back through the review and see what I got wrong. I finished writing up to question 25 on my iPad. And then I decided to go open up my the website that I have to do my homework on, and which is Pearson Labs. And they have like sample quizzes and sample test that you could take so I'm gonna take <clears throat> I'm gonna try there's only eight questions so we're gonna try and do this one this one's like oh this one's about positive analysis neutral analysis normative analysis I should probably go see what those that it's gonna be my notes I take really good notes so I should have notes about that Let's see Sticking for overload not loading because this Wi-Fi is like not working. That may I may low key have to leave only because this Wi-Fi is just not not really working in my favor. I've always had this theory where I'm like, if you don't know it, you don't know it. Studying isn't gonna help you, right? But like people study all the freaking time and then they end up doing very well. And if they wouldn't have studied, they probably wouldn't have done well. I'm just confused because why isn't that the same for me? Why can't I study like that and like do well? Like, dude, my brain does not like retain information. Does that make sense? It doesn't. I know I need to study, but I don't think I, I have to study to this afternoon because I have wine night tonight with Danny. And I'm not skipping out on wine night. It's literally not loading. I don't even know if it's their Wi-Fi that I was on. It just says guest. And the only other Wi-Fi is that they had with the Miguel's Wi-Fi, and that's next door. Alright. Yeah. It's just not loading. I either go to J and B coffee shop and finish it out, or I just go home and do it at home. For sure my most least productive. Dude, what? There's nothing near me. Anyways, for sure my l most least productive coffee shop day ever. That was kind of depressing. I kind of actually needed to get a lot of stuff done and I didn't get any, actually anything done. I wrote like three sentences. So, not the most beneficial coffee shop day, but it was absolutely fierce. So I'm just gonna have to end the video there and just tell you that the, the coffee shop was fierce. And if you are in Lubbock, Texas, I would absolutely go recommend it. 
Um, I think if I were to go again, which I'm definitely going to, but I think next time I'm gonna go, I'm definitely gonna try and set up a table and not those swinging chairs because the swinging chairs is obviously why I didn't get any work done. I couldn't focus because I just kept swinging. There was also no tables for me to move to at any point because they were all taken. So next time we'll definitely be getting a table so that I can actually um, sit there and study. But yeah, now I'm just gonna go try and do it at home. Um, 10 out of 6 out of 10 time. 10 out of 10 experience. Honestly, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I guess. Um, comment down below if you want me to do more coffee shop reviews because I kind of want to. I kind of thought it was fun. Um, I'm starting to like coffee a little bit more when they're actually from coffee shops like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys for another random vlog that I decide to do when I'm about to leave the house. Mm -hmm.